Make America great again. Now, before you all freak out and start thinking about Trump, which I know you probably already have, I don't want to talk about Trump. I just want to focus on the phrase, make America great again. Again. This implies that America is not great now, but that it used to be. So I ask you, if America is not great now, then tell me, when was it great? Last year, around the time of the election, I watched an interview on The Daily Show where the host went around and asked people that exact question. When was America great? After seeing this slogan plastered everywhere around America for the past year and a half and watching this interview, it got me thinking. When was America great? So I decided to take a look at some historically great times in American history, starting with 1776, the year that our nation was founded. This time was viewed as a historically great time for our country. Patriotism was at an all-time high. However, when you think about it, was it really great? Well, only white male property owners could vote, many people owned slaves, women had very few rights, and while religious freedom was a right granted in the Constitution, religious tolerance was not a social norm. I don't know about you, but that doesn't sound too great to me. How about nearly two centuries later, in the 1950s? You would think that in 200 years, progress would have been made. And you would be correct. During this time period, slavery was abolished, women were granted the right to vote, and as a nation, we fought a war against religious intolerance. However, was America really great? Well, while slavery had been abolished by this time, the Jim Crow laws were still in place making segregation legal. Women still did not have the same opportunities as men, and religious freedom was still a right granted in the Constitution, but religious tolerance was still not a social norm. That still doesn't sound too great to me. How about today, when America is supposedly no longer great? Well, while some people might not consider it to be great, it is certainly better than it was in 1776 or even in the 1950s. The Jim Crow laws have been abolished. People of color and women have the right to vote. Over 300 religious denominations are practiced in America, and people of every race, religion, and gender are represented in every line of work. However, while constitutionally, people of color have the same rights as white people, people of color are facing discrimination every day because of their skin color. While constitutionally, women have the same rights as men, women are making 78 cents to the dollar. And while constitutionally, religious freedom is a right, people are still persecuted because of their religion. These problems are not new. They have been plaguing our country for centuries, and as long as these problems continue to exist, America cannot truly be great. I believe that changes need to be made. I believe that we can make America great, but I do not believe that we need to make America great again. Because I don't know about you, but I can't think of a time in American history when America was great for everyone. I think that instead of focusing on the past and trying to make America great again, we should start focusing on the future and how we can make America great.